I have a story time. This is passport style edition. So this woman, she says, this is about my ex's family who all hate me for not being his hospice care wife. Okay, here's the story. My Dominican ex's cousin, 37 man, United States citizen, went to Dominican Republic and bought back a 23 year old woman. Okay, he's 37, she's 23 and agreed to marry her as long as she had babies for him. He's the only man in the whole family who doesn't have children, and all the men in the family tease him for it. And men a little older brag about having grandbabies. So they've been married for three years, now 40 and 26. She has not gotten pregnant that we know of even once. She's got her green card. She's planning on divorcing him. He doesn't know. She's been meeting with a divorce attorney behind his back. The divorce lawyer referred her to an organization for immigrant women who are in similar situations that want to divorce their American husband, but will um, still stay in the United States. Did you know that there were divorce attorneys for that? I found out because her and my oldest daughter have a mutual friend. She was worried I would say something. Excuse me. I told her I ain't saying anything. The family hates me since I wouldn't become a hospice care wife to my ex. I wish I could see the look on his face when he finds out. The organization said the safest thing for women to do is form an escape plan and leave. And leave when their husband is not home to an undisclosed location. Leave their cell phone and get another one so their husband and his people can't track their location. Then the agency will arrive for the husbands to be served with divorce papers. I had a feeling she was biding her time waiting for that green card. I was right. Ladies, this is the reason why we should not really engage with these passport bros other than to laugh. Just let's watch the stories and let's watch how things end up and let them feel the consequences of their behaviors. If they have to go out and buy a woman that is 10 years, 15 years younger, who fits the fit feminine and submissive role, and they have to fish in underdeveloped countries for these women, let them figure it out. They deserve it. If they cannot afford patriarchy in the United States and they have to go to an underdeveloped country to afford patriarchy on their $45,000 a year income. Let them feel the consequences of their action. Anyways, get in the comments, like, comment, share.